Hello there, this is James at Scroft, 1978, and if I were granted the ability to say one thing to all filmmakers and filmmaking students, movie buffs, critics, essentially everyone in the world who is passionate about, analyzes, and or creates cinema, preferably while garroting them from behind with a piano wire and repeatedly banging their head against a wall, it would be this. Although cinematography is the fundamental basis of film, just as the written word is the fundamental basis of literature, a film is not solely and entirely defined by how it looks and or is shot, or the skill and techniques with which it was created, any more than a novel is defined by its punctuation, its margins, or its fonts. Yes, I am entirely aware of and deeply appreciate the fact that cinematography has its own language, using everything from the position and the angle of the camera to the focus and lighting to communicate the emotions, perspective, struggles and what have you of the characters and create the general atmosphere of the film just as the words and phrasing that you use and whether you write in the first or third person sets the tone of a written work of fiction. For the love of the great holy donkey, I'm a die-hard fan of Korean cinema in which dialogue is virtually non-existent and therefore the movie often lives or dies on its cinematography, editing, and other visual aspects. As a matter of fact, last night I watched the Korean film Red Family, written and produced by Kim ki Duk, but not directed by him, and it shows, because although it was intriguing and held my interest, it was ultimately spoiled by the fact that it simply looked wrong, that having been shot with the same kind of cameras that are used to record Korean TV dramas, there was a barrier between myself and the characters which hindered my suspension of disbelief, thus preventing me from ever fully relating to and empathising with their experiences. But having explained and admitted all of that though, bearing in mind that this is the internet, the place where polarised tribalism is the single defining truth, rendering all such caveats a waste of time, it honestly doesn't matter how perfect your cinematography is editing, lighting, or what have you may be, if the script is bad, if the story is meaningless, self-contradictory, or entirely non-existent, if the tone of the finished film is all over the place, if, such as is the case with Citizen Kane, a significant portion of your cast being theatre actors in the 1940s with no experience of screen acting cannot act on screen for Toffee, if the music clashes with or otherwise undermines the aesthetics set by the visuals. Indeed, movies are an alchemy, a zeitgeist, the coming together of various artistic disciplines which, if blended together with vision and skill, become far greater than the sum of their parts. In the best cases, in fact, they become life-changing, and yet all that film buffs, nerds, geeks, or whatever they may choose to call themselves ever seem to want to talk about, especially in regard to the classics, in inverted commas, is the cinematography, the editing, and so forth. Allowing crimes against narrative, exposition, character development, and in the worst cases, even the internal logic of the film itself to slide, because just look at how marvellously it was shot, and worse, accusing me of not caring about or even hating cinematography and other visual aspects of cinema since I used to be a writer, which means that I must therefore want to destroy all film and force people to read again or whatever other paranoid conspiracy theory justifies their accusations, merely because I understand and accept the fact that cinematography and editing, although vital, are not the be-all and end-all of film. As a matter of fact, far from attempting to kill cinema, I am actually fighting to save it, because while the aforementioned movie nerds crucify Michael Bay, for example, for his abuse of cinematic language and so forth in his work, honestly, is the biggest or even only problem with the live-action Transformers movies or Pearl Harbor the fact that they should have been shot better 